What up, world? It's your boy, Jay Winks. Yes, I'm officially back in the building. I hope y'all having a good Sunday. A lot of football games on. Uh, we just going to get into what's been happening over the last two weeks. So, Labor Day weekend comes up. I was supposed to shoot a video with Mystery, and I, got, I totally forgot it was Labor Day weekend, so I try not to shoot videos on the holiday. So, going on, we were trying to re- plan when we we're going to shoot the video then i got hacked on facebook as some of y'all would know if so i couldn't my facebook got hacked my instagram got hacked and my channel was locked for a whole week until they can figure out what was going on so i had to change everything i almost lost all my videos and i almost had to re-record them so i kind of took a week off thinking like if i gotta record all these videos it's gonna it's about to change the whole channel up, and I was kind of upset about it. But luckily, I got all my videos back, and so we back. Like I said, it's the Little John, Kings and Crunk, Vinyl Talk. Sorry about the delay. Still haven't opened it up for y'all. Just letting y'all know, did not open it up. Can't close last night because I was in the mood of listening to him. Like I said, uh, a lot of my episodes will be pushed back from week to week now so I can figure out what I'm going to do. Because I had a whole bunch of episodes lined up and ready, but then not knowing if I was going to have to reshoot all my videos or not kind of changed everything. And we are approaching, yes, I'm approaching one year doing the YouTube channel. Yes, October 17th has been official. September 20th, tomorrow, I think, was the official date when I started talking about my channel. So it went from about to be about music, sports, and politics to me talking about all the vinyls. Yes, all the vinyls I got. Uh, new merch. Yes, the bloody vinyl champ merch is in. Yes, this is this is what I've been working on too on the side. Got the gray hoodies, the light gray. Got the sweatshirt today. Yes, uh, twenty dollars. Like I said, hit me up for the new merch. I just had somebody got one today. They got the dark gray hoodie with the red bloody vinyl champ on it. So look out for that. Hit me up for the merch. Album of the week. Album dropped last month. Well, well, two months ago, back in July or August. I'm not for sure. Maybe August. And it's the homie, that boy Vic. He dropped the album, No Child Embrace. A very dope underground album uh three songs i want to shout out blood diamonds pyramids to the project and unchained yes three songs dope project the album's on spotify that boy vic underground down south rapper look him up so going on with the channel yes i was going to do a whole big thing i don't even know where i put them at actually i had to i went and got the grills yes we're going to go all out. Actually, let me put it. Yeah, so. I had to get the, the grill. That didn't work out. I couldn't find the little John cup. So that's why I didn't go all out. I was one too. So maybe if I get crunk juice, I go all out for that. But let's go ahead and open this up. This is an orange vinyl. On my little trusty pen. I know I just had it somewhere with me. Technical. Usually I try and open it up a little bit, but then I was working on some merch. Number one. We back. Had to go get me a little tool real quick to open it up.
I don't think I paused my episodes too many times. Twice I have, I know, when I first started. Get this bad boy open. Never played yet. Finally open. Little John Kings of Crunk. No insert. I'll show you this. That's, that's orange right there. Bring it up. The other one's orange too. Oh, y'all. Now, a little backstory about little John. Uh, he worked for Soul Soul Def as an AR. He brought in DJ Smurf, who produced the earlier work for the Yin Yang Twins. Shorty Ray, who produced a lot of Jeezy's earlier records. I did not know that little John executive produced the Soul Soul Def uh, base all star albums. Uh, one of the songs y'all might know. Ghost Town DJs, My Boo, Sierra remade it and stuff like that. Uh, I did not know that. Uh, in 2000, they dropped, 2000 or 2001, they dropped the album called Put Your Hood Up. I remember that song, and then the next song, Bia Bia, was on there. Man, that, like, I heard Down South, but I heard Little John, but then it went crazy. Crunk music was that era of music, crunk era, crunk music was killing everything. In 2002, they dropped their fourth album, Kings of Crunk, that sold 2.2 million copies. And it's the highest independent album from 2003 to 2004. So that stayed on the charts for a very long time. Uh, 21 songs on this album. Not going to lie. This is one of my, put your hood up. My second favorite, but Kings of Crunk is probably my favorite Lord John album. I like Crunk Juice in a couple albums after that, but Kings of Crunk was the album I really like. And it used to get played at house parties. Everybody back in the early 2002, 2003, you heard it in everybody's car. So, you know, like I said, five songs I'm going to shout out on this. Knock Your Heads Off featuring Styles P and Jada Kiss. I Don't Give a featuring Mystical and Crazy Bone. Play No Games featuring Fat Joe and Trick Daddy. Get Low featuring the Yin Yang Twins. And Ooh Na Na featuring Ubi. Yes, this is the final talk of Kings of Crunk. I am your boy Jay Winks. Tune in next Sunday. Not for sure what episode, but you'll get the picture on my stories when I start playing music. I holla.